home game of the season for JCA. They only play eight on this floor this year. Into the ball game for the Hilltoppers is Brett Peterson, and he comes up firing. Peterson cold off the bench, the sophomore nails a three. Nice left-handed touch on the part of Peterson coming off the screen on the out-of-bounds play. They were counting on Peterson to be a major contributor early, but once again, it seems like the injury bug hits everybody. Peterson broke his collarbone, played touch football, and missed the entire preseason. He got his first game action on the varsity at Lamont. And he comes away with a the steal there. The a basket here seven. makes it a game. A basket here makes it a game. Three-point shot even makes it more interesting. Brett Peterson, the lefty, bang. Oh my gosh, there's a sophomore with two sticks. Right now, somebody's got to give him the ball. He's a hot player on the floor. Hilltoppers have to recognize that and get him the ball. Peterson has to, has, has to touch the ball. He has to touch the ball. Right the now, the, the two offensive scorers are the two sophomores. You know, what you have is you have the opportunity for Peterson, who stroked the ball a couple times, to get the ball in his hand. And also, don't be bashful about Johnson, who likes to take the ball in the basket. Peterson, the assistant, Arguzas, and the Hilltoppers have gotten as close as they've been since the second quarter, 38-30. Plus man-to-man pressure. Foster will get up to Peterson. Garofield quickly jumps out on Hill. Watch the sophomore. Nice oh. drop out inside, Dargoza. Again, it's the two sophomores that are making it for Julia Campbell. 42-40. Big shot. They need it to tie. Rip Peterson was going to take it out of bounds, but they want him here to possibly handle the ball. Comes down to this. You make a three, it goes to overtime. They got it to the right man. Now your big guy Darduza sets the pick, and a young guy bottoms it out. 